everybody. Thank you for joining me today. It's a one minute Mickey Munchie and I'm just talking about virtualization platform licensing. Um, there's been recent news uh, in the press in the last week or so talking about some of the vendors out there changing their pricing strategy. So I really just want you to touch on something. Um, some of you out there may be feeling like you're locked into your virtualization platform provider and uh, feel compelled that you've got no choice but to actually um, buy future expansion of your state under the CPU core licensing models that are out there. Some of the challenges you're facing is, is that do you actually have the budgets? Were you prepared for the budgets? And actually the cost of continuing to pay more for your existing virtualization platform versus what would it cost to migrate may be a scary proposition for you. But I want you to take a moment and actually take a look at your estate and what does it actually cost? So just here on the screen here, you know, you'll see that um, you know, some of the virtualization providers will look at per CPU pricing. And now they've got some core metrics attached to the CPU. So in this instance, you know, I've got a four CPU machine, each CPU is 16 cores. How much will you actually be paying for that license for that one server? You need to go and do the math. The new licensing models are not easy, but it's become complex and you can bet your bottom dollar it's going to cost you more money and the more than likely you haven't got the budgets for it. So, how can we help you? You know, there is a way out. Don't feel trapped, you know. If you take the same scenario I just painted, four CPU server with 16 cores, it's very easy to think about moving to another technology. When we look at buying licenses, we already have licenses for what we got. It's all about future expansion. So if it's all about new expansion in your data center, then you have an opportunity to change the platform. It's not as hard as you think. But the question is, is, is it, does it make commercial sense? And is it financial viability there to do that? Well, I would say yes. Oracle Linux, as of June 1st last year, launched its KVM with Virtualization Manager Complete Virtualization Solution. It's a very, very cost-effective platform alternative to what you might be using today. And it's really, really low cost. Now, I can't tell you or suggest to you what you may or may not be paying for your current virtualization platform, but let's take the same example I just talked about, a four CPU server with four 16 core CPUs. If you move to Oracle Virtualization, then you'd pay for one server, four sockets or above, unlimited number of sockets, 2,229 list for the server. We don't count cores, we don't count CPUs after that, is it a four socket and above machine? You pay one price. You could have 32 sockets, each socket, each CPU with 32 cores. It doesn't matter, you pay one price. Think about that. Will that one price for one server multiply the number of servers you need to buy, pay for the actual migration to a different platform? But here's the great thing. Moving to Oracle's KVM and uh, uh, Virtualization Manager is not that difficult. It's just about migrating the VMs. It's up to you. Do you want to make a change and not be trapped by closed source technology and not be trapped by licensing models which just ever, ever, forever and ever go up? Well, talk to us. Have a look at Oracle KVM with Oracle Virtualization Manager as a great alternative. And come and talk to us about how we can easily migrate you across. The costs speak for themselves. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for tuning in and I'll speak to you later. Bye.